So I was fresh out of college with my degree, and I went to work for Phoebe Putney Memorial Hospital as their rape crisis center director. And I was planning to change the world. But guess what? That was not in the job description. So what was in the job description was a lot of compliance things, some paperwork. You had to have every 10 signatures on everything. Oh, and then there were budgets. And then, of course, you had to train the volunteers. You had to take care of the volunteers. You had to take care of the volunteers who didn't volunteer. So all of this ended up being my day-to-day -day life. And I saw a lot of ugly in the midst of it. So my very first meeting, the Georgia Network to End Sexual Assault, I went to those seasoned veterans who had been in the rape crisis field for many, many years. And I said, you know what? Sometimes at the end of the day, when I go home, it's hard to shake it off. I see a lot of ugly in my day-to-day -day walk. And what they shared with me were these valuable words, you can't walk through the pig pen without getting some mud on your feet. And that's true, right? You all are walking through the pig pen on a day-to-day -day basis with people who are struggling with addictions, people who are struggling with their past, who are struggling with their own demons, past and present, mental, physical, and it's hard to go home at the end of the day and try to be normal, isn't it, with what we see on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's critical that we have some tools, we have some outlets, we have some things that we do to take care of ourselves. Because if our cup is not full, how can we overflow to those that we need to take care of? Okay, you'll be the golfer. You're the tennis player. Thank you, Lisa. And my girl, am I, oh, I was going to say, am I dropping everything? And Briley, my back -eyed, black eyed peas girl. Okay. So pretty much this is how we start our day, right? What do, all, what do most of you do in the morning besides brush your teeth and go to the bathroom? When you show up at work? Check email. Check email, exactly. So let's pour about half of that bag in. We check emails, we look through the inbox, we see if there's any memos. So we're gonna put half of that in that little tennis. This is dangerous. This is dangerous to fish it for. Okay, that's perfect, that's great, okay. All right, after that, what do we have? What's a typical day look like? Meeting. What was that? Meeting. Oh, meeting. Yep, let's put one of those golf balls, Doug. You're in with a meeting. Any more meetings? Yep, let's have another meeting. Let's have another meeting. Joy, meeting. Yep, golf ball in. Okay, what do we do after we got two meetings? What else do we do? What was the Phone. Answer the phone. Let's pour some more peas in. I got the phone. She's like, oh, I thought I was done. Nope, leave that one open. So we answer the phone, we're responding to phone calls, maybe even conference calls too. Okay, perfect, all right. And then what else do we do? What's the day, rest of the day look like? Oh, we're gonna see a client. Finally, we had lunch, thank goodness. So I see the client, all right, Lisa, let's put this tennis ball in there. And then um, we've got, what, what are we, we, missed, uh, we got one more, okay, we got one more meeting. Let's try to put that in there. One more meeting, okay. That's not exactly gonna fit. We got more peas? So we gotta check, we gotta, have, we gotta do reports, right? Okay, okay, all right, hold on, hold on. That's not gonna fit, that's not gonna fit. All right, documentation and paperwork. So let's pour the peas in there. Yes, ma'am, thank you. I don't know what went wrong here, but anyway. Okay, what we really need to do, what should be the most important thing of the day? The client. So we really should make the tennis ball be the most important thing of the day. That's where we should start. And then after that, we have to keep things going. We have to meet with our team, so what should be the next things? The meetings, okay, some meetings. We've got to have compliance. We've got to do the reports. We've got to make sure we're maintaining communication with our team. And then what needs to be last? Everything else. So, I'm gonna make a mess. Thank you, Doug. Because my four quart pitcher didn't fit. Let me shake them up a little bit. Thank you for being my human funnel. You're welcome. Okay. Now look what happened. When we reorder our lives and we put the tennis balls in first. So, what happens in our day? What do we fill most of our days with? The minutia. The minutia, the black eyed peas. It can be a little Facebook, it can be some TV in our personal life, it can be the stuff that's not critical. But what else needs to be that tennis ball besides our clients? Ourselves. 
We have to make ourselves a priority because if we don't, what did I say earlier today? If you don't set your priorities, your circumstances will. So we have to put the tennis balls in first. Then we put the critical things. Yes, the reports aren't going to go away. Meetings aren't going to go away. Conference calls aren't going to go away. But we put that secondary to the most important things and then we fill in the smaller stuff. But we reorder our lives so that we set ourselves up for failure and we're wondering why we can't get the tennis ball in at the end of the day.